Hi, I'm Chase Garbarino. And I'm Greg Gomer. And this is the Boston OB. We are finally back in studio filming after an incredibly hectic week last week with State of Innovation um, and the Fama Innovation District Bago Tournament. And while we made it to the Elite Eight, we did lose to Silicon Valley Bank twice. And it was difficult. Yeah, I mean, we threw the SVB guys a bone. We let them win. Smith Anderson, one of the guys on the team, he's had a tough run. He needed a win. He so. needed to win. We did him a solid. You're welcome, Smith. Well, obviously, we're having some problem, and it sometimes happens with live television. Let's talk about Robocop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it live. F it. Amazon finally announced uh, their heavily anticipated smartphone, the Amazon Fire Phone. Uh, pretty big fanfare yesterday. The tech media was all over it, um, but I'm not convinced. I think the Fire Phone uh, announcement was rather uneventful. It doesn't appear that it has too many crazy things. I'm gonna stick to my iPhone. If you have a Galaxy phone, stick with it. <laughs> Amazon Fire Phone, in my opinion, was a dud. The Firefly feature on the phone is um, the ultimate showrooming technology. You can look up the price of almost any product immediately from your phone. Much bigger deal than Gomer seems to think it is. Make and Moves this week is a team of undergraduate students out of MIT who have developed an application called Six Degrees. The reason why they're making moves is Six Degrees has already partnered to do a proof of concept with Marriott Hotels. The application is meant for networking when you're on business trips at a hotel. It's going to match people all at the hotels. What do you think? Um, let's call a spade a spade here. It's for uh, lonely people looking to get down at hotels. Tinder for <laughs> hotels, I think, is Basically. what we might have referred to. Yeah. Great idea. Everybody can pull a Clooney and up in the air. I dig it. Never saw that movie. What is that? Carbon fiber? Graphite. Level Up, one of our favorite Boston companies, um, is rumored to have laid off some of their marketing staff. Um, this also comes at a time where Level Up just launched a new iBeacon program. Interesting to see the, you know, the product announcement with the, uh, the rumored layoffs. Probably a smart PR move. The uh, second annual Entrepreneur Games uh, is happening this week. Um, and also, you were out of the office uh, having some fun with some community members this week as well. Yes, Tuesday. It was the uh, Entrepreneurs versus Investors Golf Tourney That's for the Greenlight Fund. Uh, I shared a cart with Max Lane, the former Patriots offensive lineman. He's a big dude. Uh, definitely knows how to maneuver a golf cart, though. Gomer sissied out playing this year, so we're going to make him go next year. Cut that out. Keep it. The hottest new application taking the world, the small little tech media world that we live in, by storm is called Yo. The app is very simple. I add friends and I, I, I tap on my phone and it sends them a Yo, a Yo message. That's it. The app's taken off. It's got over 50,000 users, probably double that by today, who knows. Sent over 4 million Yo's. I've only had about 11, which sucks. Um, <laughs> And the team is apparently raising 1.2 million. This is a perfect example of the Silicon Valley obsession with complete <laughs> funny garbage little apps that are taken off. It's all over Twitter. I can't believe this is something. I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. This week, again, got some unwanted feedback from... It was, it was tough, tough week. Yeah. It was actually I mean, visuals. Yeah. I Visual guess unwanted we'll just, feedback. I'll we'll just show it to you. So that's, a, you know, our buddy Chris over the Atlas, you know, just pumping up our confidence as usual. Good to hear from you, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. One more bit of news this week. Floyd Money Mayweather is getting into angel investing. Okay. Floyd has invested in a selfie app called Shots. But the amazing thing is how he invested. Rather than writing checks, signing up term sheets, he just handled this founder a duffel bag full of a million dollars cash. What a cool guy. <laughs> hey, one of the keys to angel investing is moving fast, not wasting an entrepreneur's time raising money. So I think this is a great thing. Make good, it rain. Good thing for the ecosystem. It's legal. It's 
Not classy. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. <laughs> I need an intro. It's like timing. It's like a countdown. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Greg, what are you thinking? <laughs>